Hello. Hello, my name's Sarah, calling from NHS 111. Oh, hi. Hello, okay. How can I help today? Um, yeah, I've gone to pick up my little boy from the childminders. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't appear to have had an injury or anything, but his eyes are quite inflamed. Okay, well, what I can do is go through an assessment. That way we can get the most appropriate care and advice. Um, so I'll just take some details from yourself. Yep. Okay, so... Um, so I'm going to ask a series of questions. Now, some of these may not seem relevant, but I do need to ask them for a safe assessment. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Thank you. All right. Now, I just need to check. Are you in the same room as him? Yeah, he's right next to me. And is he awake right now? He is, yeah. Okay, that's good. So I just need to check. Is he unconscious, fitting, or choking right now? No, no, he's fine. Okay, so he's conscious and awake? Yeah, he's just playing with some toys. Okay. Has he been bleeding? Red blood very heavily in the last 30 minutes? No, no. Okay, thank you. And is he fighting desperately for every breath? No, he's breathing fine. No, that's good. Okay. Is he limp or floppy right now? No, no. Okay. And is he unable to stay awake? No, no, that's fine. Okay, and does the skin on his chest, back or abdomen feel a normal temperature? Do you want me to check or...? Yeah, if you can. If you can just place a hand on the skin of his chest, back or abdomen on the skin for me. How does yep. it feel? Normal, warm, hot, cold? No, he feels fine. Feels fine. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you very yes. much. Now, you said his eyes are a bit swollen, is it? They both are, yeah. They both are. Okay, let's see what we can do. Now, is there a new problem with opening or closing the eye properly? No, that looks okay. Yep, okay. Um, I I'm going to assume that he doesn't wear contact lenses at his age. No, no. Okay. okay. Has he felt hot or feverish at any time in the last 12 hours? The child minded to say that she thought earlier that he felt a little bit feverish, although he, he's eaten fine and he's been Okay, late, so he's had a little bit of a temperature in the last... Yeah. Okay. Did she take yeah. his temperature at all? Not that she said. No. no. Okay. Now, has he got an area of hot and inflamed skin near the eye, near an eye at all? Um, hold on a second, darling. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, what both eyes or just one? Any, any, either of the eye went that's swollen. So is slightly, either of them? Yeah. Ha yeah, slightly red and slightly hot to touch around the eye. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now from the information you've given me, we do advise to have contact with a local service. Um, so what I can do is arrange a callback for you from your GP surgery, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant, thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is book that call for you. As soon as someone's available from your GP service, they will give you a call. Okay, okay. now we do advise if you don't hear back within four hours to give the GP surgery a ring. All right, so they're going to ring you back. And in the meantime, I'll give you some care advice that may help in the meantime. Now, with a fever, give him plenty of fluids, so such as water or squash, and take small sips if you feel sick. Okay. Um, dress him in light clothes, and don't try to cool him down by cold sponging or fanning. Now, you do need to watch if he becomes limp, floppy, unresponsive, or has a fit to call 999, or if he becomes severely ill with new marks like bruising or bleeding under the skin to call 999. So that is just in case. Um, also to check on him at least every two to four hours, including overnight for the fever, just for general care to make sure he's okay. Um, now, medication-wise, unless advised not to, paracetamol or ibuprofen can be used to relieve pain. Now, you don't always need to treat fever unless the child is very upset. And we do advise don't give both together unless recommended by a healthcare professional. Um, so we do advise, though, consider alternating the medication only if the symptoms continue or come back before the next dose is due. And just make sure you do follow the instructions on the pack. And if in doubt, to ask a pharmacist, they can advise you on medication. So okay, that callback is all arranged for you as soon as I can. But if you don't hear back in four hours, give them a call. But if he okay. has any new symptoms or his condition gets worse, changes, or you have any other concerns, just call us back. But that callback is all arranged for you, okay? Thank you. Can I just ask a quick question? Well, certainly, yes. Because um, of the time of day... Um, mm -hmm. Do you think they'll still ring me before the surgery closes? It's possible, but we do advise if you don't hear back by the time the surgery closes, just give us a call back. We can reassess and then we can um, put it through to the out of hours. We do have out of hours once the GP closes, okay? okay. That's great. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope you're feeling better soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, my name's Sarah, calling from NHS 111. I understand you rang our service for about your mum a little while ago. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, how can I help today? Um, 
Well, I'm really worried about her. She, um, she basically, she just seems to be in a very deep sleep all the time. Okay, well, what I can do is went to a quick assessment. That way we can get the most appropriate care and advice. So I'm going to ask some questions. Now, some of these may not seem relevant, but I do need to ask them for a safe assessment. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. All right. Now, are you in the same room as her? I am, yes. Okay. And is she unconscious, fitting, or choking right now? Um, can I'll say she's just work? in a deep sleep. Let me okay. see. Okay. Can you Mom, turn the door to Mom, take her up? Mom, wake up for me. Mom, wake up. No, she doesn't no, seem to respond to me. Okay, okay. Is she breathing in and out normally? She does seem to be breathing, yes. Yeah, is her chest is rising and falling regularly? Yes, okay. it is. Okay, and is she breathing at least one breath every ten seconds? Let me look. Yes, she is. Okay, that's really good. Does her breathing sound noisy at all? No, no, I wouldn't say it's no. It's quite normal. Okay, thank you. Okay, now from the information you're giving me, we do advise an emergency ambulance for your mum. Okay. All right, okay. So I'm going yeah, to send if you it think to, so. Yeah, from the information you're telling me, this is the most appropriate care. So I'm going to send the ambulance to your address. Okay. Okay. Now I just need to check, is the scene safe for the crew to arrive? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Is there any access issues to the property, any key codes or anything like that? No, 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 there's no, nothing like that. Okay, and is there any risk of coronavirus? Does anyone in the house have coronavirus or symptoms? No, no, no. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, so, and are you able Mom, to stay Mom. with her until help arrives? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, that's really good. Okay, just bear with me. All right, so what I'm going to do... Is that is all arranged, okay, so they all will right. be with you as soon as they can. Just a few more questions. Okay. Not gonna, it's not going to affect the ambulance. Now, oh, has okay. she had a fit within the last hour that you're aware of? No, no, not that I know no. of. Okay, any injuries at all? Has she injured herself? No, 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 no injuries. No? Okay, no. is she lying down? Um, well, she's sitting in the chair. She's sitting in a chair, okay. Yeah. Can she be laid flat? Can you get her onto the floor at all? Yeah, I probably could, yeah. Yeah, if you can, if you can get her out of the chair very carefully and lay her on the floor for me. Okay. Yeah, I've um, got her on the floor. It's been okay, a bit of a struggle, well but done. I've Yeah, got her absolutely. There. So well done. And can you roll her onto her side for me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now roll her onto her side, remove any pillows or cushions from under her head, and I want you to keep checking that she's breathing until help arrives. Okay, uh, I will. Like I said, the ambulance has been requested. They will be with you as soon as they can. All right, now, okay. Now, just a few more questions. Is she bleeding heavily from anywhere? No, 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 she's not bleeding. No. Okay, and is she diabetic at all? No, 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 not diabetic. No. No. Okay. Has she had a previous severe allergic reaction? Not that I know of, no. Okay, and, and does, has she known as Addison's disease at all? No. Okay, now what I need you to do is you meet and direct the vehicle. Are you on your own with her? Um, no, 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 my, my brother's here. Right, if you can get someone to meet and direct the vehicle, so just keep an eye and an ear out for the ambulance, yeah. okay, and open the door. Are there any dogs on the property? No, we don't have any dogs. Okay, that's fine. Now, if you do need to contact somebody, do so now, and then try and keep the line free, as we may need to call you back. All right. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Now, if there's any new symptoms or your mum's condition does get worse or changes or you have any other concerns, you need to call 999. But like I say, that ambulance has been requested and they will be with you as soon as they can. All right. Okay. All right, then. All right. You take care, okay. both of you. All Thanks, right. Thanks, then. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.